Hello guys, today I am going to show an important example on microsy. The title of this example is Serial Communication Using UART module. So let's start now. Here is the example. So let, let's start. First we declare the UART RD variable. This is a character type variable. And next we make an array. <coughs> and Next, we create an i type var integer variable i. And next, this is a void main as everyone knows. Main is a parent function of all functions in C language as this is as this code is in C language. And when we need no return variable, then we use void. Here we set the baud rate delay. Here we give that delay. And next we declare that this as output and give zero to that port. You are write text start. First on start when we run the program then start will declare on the screen, will show on the screen. And here next this is for carriage return and we use time for that. You are one write. You are one write thirteen. This is for new line. Carriage return means it when we press any key and after run that key the result will shown by that key and it gives control to that for press next key here is for infinite loop while one if you are his is statement if you are data id if we press any key then that if data is received read it will read that data and assign that data to your rd Correct data variable. If you press A, then first LED will on. And next, here new line, we will move to the new line and then catch it turn. And one will output on the port B will be one. If we press B, then second LED, second LED will be on. And here is the same procedure. And po Two is the output on port B. If we press C, then four is the output on port B. If we press one, it is a next if statement. If we press one, then one C will be shown on the screen. You are one right thirteen. I will show you output on port yes also, and also show you how to run a program or and how to make a circuit of that example. Here is. If we press 2, then 2 receive will be shown. And this is new line and also carriage return. Text 0 is equal to 1. And text 2 is equal to 1. Is third if statement. If text 0 and text 1 is equal to 2. After that, last LED will on. And this text 0, 1 is equal to 0. Again, it will now it will assign zero to that uh, we have we had pressed we pressed you are t1 right and send data via you art this is to end the array now we will move to the proteus to make the circuit of that example to run that example and to demonstrate that now we get here first move to the pick tools and then pick pick out your pick 16f877a this is the pick we are using and place it here and next pick out the power source and also ground which we, we which we will use for LEDs and next pick out the virtual terminal and place it here 
pick out the LEDs sorry animated LEDs we will pick out red we will use 4 LED zoom it one by one attach to there we will attach to there we will choose that pins depends on our program as we are choosing port B because in program we will we used port B so after attaching the LEDs we will attach the power source here and next we will pick the DC source here it is here it is and to run the program double click on it and choose a program this is our pick that we use and this is a frequency this is the hex file we will upload Unfortunately, my Protus is not working correctly, so 